Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do another video here on full self-driving version 12 of uh, the software. Uh, so this is pretty exciting. This is version 12.2. Uh, I'll put those notes in the thumbnail above. This is my 2021 Tesla Model S long range version. Uh, now what's gonna be a little bit unique about this video is I'm currently at Home Depot uh, if you didn't watch my earlier video, um, I will put that at the end here for you to take a look at the earlier video. But we did drive all the way to Home Depot here and it actually took us to the very front door of the of the Home Depot. So it drove us all the way through the parking lot and went to the front door. This is kind of a shopping complex that I'm uh, I'm currently in here. If you, if you look down here, you'll see um, down here on the screen, yeah basically a shopping complex this is the home depot uh so i'm gonna see we're currently parked as you can see here in the window um i'm gonna see if it will back us out and actually take us back to where uh where uh, my son is taking a jiu-jitsu class and i'm gonna be picking him up so we're gonna go ahead and try that out and see if it will actually do that entire uh situation pulling us out of the parking lot pulling us onto the main roads taking us onto a highway and then removing. Overall, with full self-driving, uh, especially this new version uh, 12, uh, what I've noticed is that um, it, it, it's finely tuned for a lot of the side roads. And what I mean by side roads, it's not the main highway roads that uh, that we're all used to. So it does a it does a really good job of that. It does also it's it's a lot more finely tuned uh, to handle things like. Um, um, slowing down like human beings would slow down it's not as jerky or hard aggressive stops or hard aggressive accelerations or it doesn't creep out and take a right turn on a red light uh too aggressively it's it's a lot more um uh managed on how a human would drive is basically what i would say now hopefully you guys will see that i'll point that out so we're going to go to this jersey mics here and um, and you can see it's uh, only about 11 minutes away, so should be should be pretty good here. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. I'm going to back up first. Um, it doesn't appear that uh, the full self driving is going to handle the backup, so I'll go ahead and back up. You know, using these cameras and Teslas to back up are amazing. I mean, frankly, better than actually turning my head around and doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, now let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and even in this awkward stance, uh, see if we can get this to move forward here. Okay. It looks like not. Let me go ahead and get it on the main road here at least. And come on, come on. Okay. It doesn't want to start it in the parking lot. It doesn't appear. Uh, let me try to get it out here and I will try it again here and see if that works now still not wanting to do it okay we are going to once we get on the highway here I I think it's not it's just not liking the parking situation parking lot sorry parking lot situation okay so now let's try to engage with it hello there we go okay so you can see we have a stoplight here so it's going to go ahead and pause and that you can see the traffic light is all taped up there so it just went off a stoplight which i think is a really good way of understanding how you know version 12 is keenly into understanding the different elements that are there so it looks like we are going to go straight then take a left coming up here but we're going to go through this straight through this traffic light and it did detect that and then when this traffic light does turn green you will see the car automatically uh, move forward so um, one of the other things i've noticed with uh, traffic control feature may be degraded is what it says front camera blocked or blinded uh, i wonder if we have some dirt or smudge on the uh the front camera 
not sure. So let's see if um, if it has a problem reading uh, the traffic light. No, it's still going. I will, when we stop, I will check that front camera, but because it might be smudged or dirt on there, it is something you need to look at. So maybe it's having a difficulty of understanding that. It is nice that the car will um, Turn left on inform you and tell you about that um, versus not and just causing challenges. So uh, the light is green and you will see it turn. There is a median in the road here. So let's see how well it manages this. Uh, pretty good. No problems at all. Handle that just fine. Turn right onto Hop Yard Road. And then, yep, we will be taking a right turn here um, at the traffic light. And it is a little slow, a little too slow, I would say. So I'm not sure if I like that. I'm going to turn the max up to 30. So it's really slowing down again, I think as part of being very sensitive about um, human beings being in the car and not having jerky moments. Now, this is a, a light um, that can be turned on red, uh, but it doesn't appear that the car wants to do that. I'm going to tap the accelerator. Nope, that didn't seem to do it. So it does appear that the car is going to wait until that traffic light does turn green. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to creep forward. Well, hold on a second. Now it's kind of moving. Maybe it is going to creep forward. It doesesn't like the uh, I, for some reason it's not turning uh, right on red here. Maybe it's the cars or something. I don't know, but you can see it's trying to. There it goes. Well, the light turned green, and that might be the primary reason why. Here we go. So it did accelerate quite a bit up to 45. Now we are going to stay on this road for a while. The light is turning uh, yellow here, as you can tell. So it is slowing down at a way more natural, uh, less aggressive braking is what I would say. Uh, so it, it, it's certainly version 12 certainly um, had a core objective of uh, being a lot more gentler of a, of a ride. Um, so I like that quite a bit. Yeah, it still doesn't like uh, something that's on the front camera um, that is uh, kind of preventing it from seeing the traffic lights. So that is something that I'm going to check on right away. But let's see if we can make it through uh, this video. Again, we're only about uh, 2.6 miles away and only an eight minute drive here. So it shouldn't take us too long to get there. Hopefully the um, whatever smudge is on the, the camera, uh, hopefully it's not going to bother the car too much. But it does keep giving me that warning, and I haven't seen that before. So that is new to version 12. Uh, those warnings seem to be a little more sensitive, especially with um, the visual recognition of the cameras itself and how the computer processes uh, images to, um, to have a stronger understanding of what to do and what not to do, things like that. Um, so we'll see how that um, continues to operate. Okay, so yeah, so the, the moment the uh, traffic light turned green, the car is gonna accelerate and get up uh, as much as possible to the speed limit, which is 45. Um, I do need to touch the steering yoke every once in a while to uh, let the, the car know that I haven't fallen asleep or that I am paying full attention uh, while autonomous and full self-driving is engaged. So doing a good job of that, as you can see here. Uh, this, we will continue to go straight for uh, at least another 0.8 miles. Um, so I have us going through one, two, three more uh, traffic lights. Boy, it does not like what's ever on that camera, if you can see there in the main screen. So something is blocking uh, the camera from seeing really well. I wonder if that will eventually stop. We'll have to wait and see. Um, it's kind of a good test to have a video when we have that smudge just to see how well the, the car handles that. So again, slowing down very gently, uh, which is one of the key features that I've seen in version 12. Again, not having as much of a jerky uh, kind of drive with, a, you know, immediate stops or um, immediate accelerations. You can see the kids and the people, uh, you know, running their bikes and walking through the crosswalk. Uh, every, all that shows up here on the display itself, along with the uh, traffic uh, indicators as well. And it does a really good job of understanding that. 
uh, very sensitive information. Obviously, you want it to know when to go and when not to go. And um, pedestrians are, you know, by far the number one thing you need to keep an eye on. Uh, a lot of people say that, you know, um, version 12 is going to be much closest to uh, full, full, true full self-driving where the human does not need to interact. And um, if you guys have watched any of the videos online or the analysts, um, even uh, Elon himself has said that um, uh, version 12 is safer than a human driving the car. And, you know, honestly, I would believe that in many circumstances, but not all circumstances um, by any means. So humans uh, have a tendency to stop paying attention or get distracted by something else that's going on. You know, there could be people in the car and they get distracted or what have you. But uh, the full self-driving version 12 uh, is supposed to be uh, tremendously better. So we'll see. Now, we are going to be taking a right turn coming up here, not at this light. Um, but on the next light, it's going to be taking a right turn. So we'll see how well it handles that. It's going to need to get in the right turn lane and then it's going to obviously apply the blinker ahead we just hit the blinker and it's going to cross over uh, you can see a bike lane here that is being careful about and it is lightly even though it turned green it is likely going to do a very gentle turn just as we would want it to being human beings that are in the car oh it did gosh it handled that perfect that was very natural Maybe I'll use the term natural feeling. It was very natural. Um, we have a stop sign here. A couple stop signs coming up. So this is our first one. We have two more that it's gonna handle. And this is a really nice kind of neighborhood area. Um, people walking along sidewalks with their pets, um, kids you can see there. So, um, you know, you don't wanna go too fast here. You wanna be very careful. Uh, to pay close attention to all the all the folks walking around in this you know wonderful neighborhood. By the way, what a beautiful day we got here today. Um, it's just amazing uh, weather for uh, you know end of February. You know it's uh, February 24th on a Saturday, and we're getting 69 degrees weather here at um, almost 12 p.m. almost noon, and uh, just beautiful beautiful weather here in uh, Bay Area, East Bay of California and uh, Pleasanton, California. I know some of you that watch me online are from Pleasanton. Uh, if you are, do a shout out in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, all right, we are going to be, again, stopping here. But as you can see in this video, it does a great job of just being more of a natural driver. Full stop, then moves forward. It's it, That's what I would say version 12 so far has just really proven to me. Um, it really has worked out a lot of the aggressive kinks that uh, full self-driving has had in the past where it's very jerky and uh, stops are too hard or lane changes are too aggressive or braking is timid and it doesn't understand. This This really feels a lot more like how a human would drive the car, which is just fabulous. So I love that. So just kind of gently driving through here at 35 miles an hour, doing a really good job understanding that. All right, we're gonna be turning, coming in here very soon right turn lane easing over and this is going to take us into Don't the right. complex here there we go and i am going to interact with it because i am not exactly going to mike subs here i'm going to be going and picking up my son at this other <coughs> excuse me this other store here where he's in his uh jiu-jitsu class so we'll be picking him up there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn around here. I'm gonna hop out with you guys though, and let's take a look and see if we can see what is affecting uh, the front of the car. Maybe we can see uh, some dirt or smudge on the camera, and maybe all we need to do is uh, you know, gently kind of wipe that off. So let's go ahead and park 
uh, right here. And then we'll go just take a look at the front of the camera and see what we can get. And I'm not exactly sure. I think the camera's up here, but facing out there. So I'm gonna see if there's any dirt on there. Uh, let's take a look at that together. Okay, just hopping out here. So yeah, you can see on the front of the car here, this car is pretty dirty, uh, to be honest with you. I had some old wet night maps here, but these are the cameras, you can see them pretty clear. And just so you guys know, there's other cameras actually on Teslas as well, if you're not familiar. So you have these side uh, uh, B pillar cameras here that are there. Sometimes you need to clean those out. Those are really important. You obviously have these cameras down here. These are the cameras that really look at the blind spot on the car. Uh, as you can see, they're pointed behind you. So when you're switching lanes on the freeway or highways, those cameras are important to make sure that are clean. Uh, these B pillar cameras look like if I'm going forward and I'm trying to take a left onto a major highway, a lot of times these are the cameras that are doing that. The cameras when you're driving forward and look at traffic lights are those, of course, which we just quickly cleaned. And so you do have a couple of those cameras. Then of course you have the rear camera uh, that sits right above the uh, license plate uh, for you to see in the back of the car. So quite a lot of cameras that uh, do sensing. I don't think Tesla does a forward under the bumper camera. Yeah, I'm not seeing a camera down there at all. I do know um, that a lot of other cars are using front cameras underneath kind of the grill. I know Porsche does that, but Porsche does not have uh, as an aggressive autopilot or full self uh, uh, driving. They, they, they do have a lane assist, but that's not nearly the same thing at all. So overall, the car is doing well, it just needs to be cleaned as you can tell. But uh, thank you very much for joining us, you guys. As you can tell, version 12 here is a gigantic, magnificent update. I'll keep pumping out a few more videos. It's the only way we're really gonna understand how good uh, this full self-driving is. So I'll keep pumping out a few more videos so you guys can take a look at them. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video, really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day.